Hey guys, I Pyronard here doing a monocade review this time with Momosu Gundam of the Ages, Pirate Lord himself, the H2 Dark Count. And look at the mobile suit with everything in its magistry, and look at how it goes. Really, I will say, loving the pirate motif design of this guy right here. It is fantastic. I enjoy the color scheme for this, especially as a guy who loves basically his main palette, his palette color scheme for most most models is basically this. Though, primarily for me, I like to have more red on mine than, than the black and gray being the accents, but this is the reverse. But regardless, I love the design. It is as piratey as I love it. It's also one of my favorite Transformer machines out here. As you can see right here, design-wise, it is awesome. It's got two um, H2 bullet, where used to be the uh, H2 bullet rifles, has not been replaced. Was was called two hook guns for being able to capture mobile suits and ca uh, latch onto them. The H2 backpack is still there, as you can as you can see. Still has the chest piece for the H system, but it's now been replaced. As you can see, the Doth rifle is still there, just been now been changed to be more kind of like spear, like more piratey. The head, right here, as you can see, has the gun motif pirate. I can see right there. It's got the pirate skull right there, and also has an eye patch. Uh, that's right, folks. H2 is an eye patch. He's truly a pirate. And design wise, I really do enjoy this guy. Probably one of my favorites. But with that out of the way, let's go with everything the H2 Dark Hound comes with. So, starting out here with what everything the H2 comes with, let's go with his most trusty weapon right here. We go with the with Dodd's rifle right here. Very beautiful design right here. Mo uh, rifle right here. This is a multi part rifle. Uh, the Lance right here is two parts right here. As you can see right there was the seam line right there. Uh, one second, folks. Well, I adjust the camera so everything can fit nicely as well. Ooh. Camera's being not fun today. Where was I? All right. I rifle has two. You can see right here, the rifle comes with, uh, the lance itself comes with two parts. Then the gray part right here is two parts right here. So it's able to detach up here for multiple transformation stuff right here. This come this little piece right here comes off when you go into transformation mode, which you'll see later on once we go do that. This bottom part is able to detach right there so you can attach the so you can attach the manipulator hands on there so you can attach the mobile suit to the dark hound itself. Then we go the fact that it comes with a couple beam savers right here. Along with the beam saber, this comes with this comes with two beam beam saber holsters or hilts. Sorry, hilts. Two beam saber hilts right here. Along with that, we got four manipulator hands right here. We got four manipulator hands right here, folks. We got two of the closed ones right here for holding up stuff. We got one right here for oh no, yeah. Got one right here for basic closed fist one. And then we have one open palm hand right here. I know, trying to escape. And we got one open open palm hand right here for trying to do expressive poses. And then we have an extra piece right here, which will be for when it transforms as Sandly, the H2, Dark Hound, and regular H2 is still there in time when transformation still required some pieces to assemble. So this is kind of a parts form. Unlike later uh, transform mobile suits, which no longer are parts form, which is a good thing. And then we have the wire here for when you use the gun hooks. So you can attach it, so you can do uh, the whole posability when it's trying to capture stuff. Sadly, when it comes with one of these, so you can only do it with one. Uh, okay, now let's go with the H2 itself. Also, actually, also last thing too, on a very rare occasions, it actually comes with a stand. Not a lot of mobiles these days come with stands, but it does come with a stand, so that's actually a yay part. So now out of the way, let's go with the H2 with everything. And it comes with first things first. Got the H2 in its head. Very nice design right here. As you can see, it's got its pyrite right there. Looking good. Now, it does have the other eye there. That eye is actually kind of like a mini attachment between the heads. But it's still there, still visible. That's the articulation. First things first, let's spin the head. I can see right there. It's able to spin. Able to do the... Ooh, I was going to say giddy giddy, but I think it kind of fell off. Whew, there we go. How's this? 
through the hand. The hand is on a stick joint, as you can see right here, as it is pulsable back, as it is still one of the older kits. As this kit line does follow kind of Gundam 00, except it does do some modern parts. Some parts are still old style. What's it called? Then we have the shield parts right here, which do not move. Do technically move as this thing that is on kind of like kind of like a hilt joint or whatnot. That's uh, let me show you right here. Oh no, the arm came off. That was not part of the plan. Oh well, I guess this does come off. This kind of reminds me of uh, the ash, the old ashtrays. Well, the old red ashtray. If I'm gonna be honest. So this, so wrist arm right here. Uh, forwards, uh, it's able to move around back and forth as is on a swivel joint right here. Then the side hook right here does move up and down, and this thing and the gun hook does detach right here for when you want to use use it for like hooking up opponents and stuff when it's fighting. Okay, let's go with what else? Uh, let's go reattach the let's reattach the arm. There we go. Okay, let's reattach the arm right here. Now let's go with ab joints. As they were to as they were to spin around. Whee! It does have some ab joint right there. As you can see. Not a lot, but it does. It's able to extend. So if you want to try to do ab joint, technically speaking, it can do its ab joint. Once you extend it, it's able to do that. <sighs> Okay, going from its app crunch right there, uh, let's go with its splits. Is able to move its side skirts that. Actually, they able to move its butt flap a little bit like that. Is able to move its, actually, they able to do splits. Like most other mobile suits, this guy can actually do its splits. Is able to move its leg forward up. All the way, actually, most of the back. Most of it. I mean, you angle a little bit back there if they would move all the way there. Overall. It's able to bend its joints. Kind of good like that. It's the ankle is actually on a swivel, so it actually can move it side to side and spin it around. Uh, what's it cold? All right, then do the hands a little bit too much, did I? So I should do the arms right there. Let's move the sh let's move the attachment points. It does have a double joint on the ar on the arms, so it's able to. I move a little bit like this. It's a little bit. Gonna be honest, this guy's a little bit more docile. It's, but it's able to spin. It's able to move. Not the best, if I'm gonna be honest, but it's able to get there. <sighs> now let's go put him back to how he used to be. Let's put the arms back down. Let's put him on your screen. Let's put back his arms. Let's put his hands back right there, and let's put them back on the display. Now, time. Folks, let's go with transformation. As this is going to be the first time I'm going to be doing this. So we're going to be back with the manual. It's going to be honest. Didn't build them without doing it. So, first things first. As manual suggests, we got to dismantle the mobile suit again. So, again, dismantling arm right there. Arm right here. Putting the side skirts up. Uh, oh, wait, are we taking the entire thing off? Oh, shit. Okay, so we're taking... Oh, right. So, I like a lot of mold suits nowadays. The leg joints can actually remove, so these guys are actually removable. Uh, take this off. I'm not too sure if I was supposed to remove this. We'll see once I finish building this guy up. Now, next step right there, folks, it's going to be putting the head inside and... And raising the torso up. So, i uh, put everything down. Uh, oh, okay. So, what we do, we smush the head down as it is a feature right here. I'll let the, oh, shit. Okay, every, kind, everything kind of fell. But don't worry, we got this. Okay, so, on this here, I remove this all the way up towards here. Then we attach onto here. Oh, come on. It's got it's got pick it's got hole points right here, which you can see. Oh, we gotta attach here. 
if I can attach this right. Aha, there we go. Woo, we attached. Well, that's done. Uh, what else? Okay, now that this is the first part done. First part's done. Now we gotta go with the Dodds rifle. Okay, so Dodds rifle. I think I'm looking this right. We attach it up this way. So that I can attach right there. Wait, is that how that attaches really? Oh, okay. So then, so we have this move around. Okay, sorry about this whole thing. This is my first time dealing with this. Okay, I want to say this is how this goes. Re-slam this back. Uh, oof. Then we open the slide thing right here. Oh, there we go. Then we attach the rifle right there. Woo! Okay, we are om we are almost halfway there on its transformation, folks. Now, next stop are the legs. Okay, so first things first, we bend the legs this way right here. Uh, bend this right here. Do I do this? Probably, maybe. What do I do? Wait one second. Uh, trying to figure this out. Okay, so put that down there, put that there. Now they're in the side. Ah, okay, I see what this is. So we do this. We do this. This guy's now down here. I'm assuming this is how we do this. Now that the legs are there. Ah, and now comes this part right here. See, I knew this part was going to come in handy. So we would go. Actually, wait one second. I need to see where this back piece goes with. Like I said, just, I'm building this with you. So this thing right here, and it looks the same either way. So we put the, okay, so we put this in here. Ooh, put the other leg over here. Come on, get in there. Okay, so we got two legs in there. Now, we attach. Ah, okay, so this thing's kind of, okay, so this here, move this here, as you can see right there. It's docking. Docking. Come on, it's docked perfectly. Come on, dock. Woo! It has docked. I am hopefully this thing's going as bright as I want it to be. Please let this go right. If not, I am gonna be terrified at this. Okay. Uh what else? Now we go with the arms. Ah shit, this is gonna be difficult. Okay, so arms are there. What do we do? So we fold the arms there, right? Trying, sorry, trying to figure this out. There was being a little bit interesting about this. So they just go here. Are they just the same? Looks the same. Does it swivel around? No. What is it? What's it doing? One second. I gotta read this. I'm sorry about all this. This is my first time transforming this guy. So he goes there. Ah, okay, so it is, so it is clear, okay, so, okay, so, the arms just basically close down how they usually are, so you do this, they close down like this, because they're meant to be that way, this thing's supposed to be out here, all well, the peg joint here goes down, then we attach them to whatever side to go with, which would be, which will be going to side right here for the right arm, uh, hopefully I'm doing this right, this is not gonna lie, this is, when it comes to transformable mold, so this is my most complicated right here. Mine is all, mine is all the UC kits, because I'm gonna be honest, a lot of the UC kits ignore the one that has a sticker and ignore the one that doesn't have a sticker. I kind of did this, so, doing this. Okay, we are almost there in the transformation. What else is left? So we have the stand. The stand moves this way, okay. How the fuck is, oh, okay. So now that the peg hole is this way right here, as you can see right there, folks, the stand has to be moved sideways, which is a good thing. This thing's able to turn around. So move the stand right here. And boom. The age two dark hound is now complete in its transformation. Please do not fall. 
Okay, folks, this is fucking weird. Let's go back on the... Let's actually go back on the mobile stand, we're going to be honest. Also, hope this guy doesn't fall apart. And there we have it. The H2 Darkhound. Now built. And now it's in transformer mode. Not going to lie. I'm going to be honest. A lot of the transform transformation to their uh, plane mode. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. It's not as terrible. going to be honest. Looks fine to me. If I'm going to go with the ones. This is actually not most terrible. Because a lot of them. Um, like the Curios or a lot of the other ones. It's kind of just got them just facing down just this. This is actually a little bit more airplane mode as the thing combines inside of itself. I think the best mobile suit for me personally that can transform itself to airplane mode is the flag. The Union flag, the Euro flag, double O. I think they're the best ones transformable. But the H2 Dark Hound, I do like it. It is very nice design wise. And it looks actually pretty nice overall. Uh, but with that out of the way, this is the review for the H2 Dark Hound. Uh, what's it called? Thanks for everybody watching. My next build that I will be building is going to be either the Gundam 00 Quanta, because I've been wanting to build that for like a longest time, as one of my old, old pre-orders after these guys right here. Or IBO Kit's uh, side story, Gundam Grimmery. It's going to be one of those two. Oh, that out of the way, just pirate and signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.